This week, the comedy store turned over its bill to not one, but four comedians for a three-night stand. They've been playing to packed houses, drawing sizable contingents of appreciative women. For Judy Carter, a former school teacher, this engagement was a welcome step up from her early days on the nightclub circuit. Sometimes like working this club, which is uh, La Jolla, is really nice. We have um, people here, I guess, haven't never been to nightclubs before. They're a bit untouched. Sandra Bernhard says her problem isn't so much with being a woman, but just being different. Growing up as a strange child, I developed a whole little imaginary world for myself and wanted to be a musical comedy star like Carol Channing. For Lotus Weinstock, comedy has been an emotionally rewarding experience, if not lucrative as well. I think there's got to be easier ways not to make a living. <laughs> no. <laughs> My goal, though, is to prove that not all Jews can make money. Tonight's MC and opening act was Weinstock, who made her debut 15 years ago at the Bitter End in San Francisco. Once on stage, she showed why she's been described as a female Lenny Bruce with alfalfa sprouts on top. Basically, I'm just your average semi-liberated woman. We've all heard the term liberated. Semi-liberated means I don't wear underwear, but I'm frigid. <laughs> and my favorite song has helped me make it through the night. <laughs> I think you knew that, and I do wear underwear, but only when I make love. <laughs> that's as kinky as I get. <laughs> what else can I tell you that's really important to me? Yes, I am 36 